After logging into your Noble Hour account, click on the Wired Globe, then click on the Yavapai College Portal. You are now at the main page for the Yavapai College Portal. Select Opportunities. On the Opportunities page, scroll down and you'll have a variety of options. As you can see, you will see multiple opportunities listed. The default protocol for the sort by filter is Distance. You can also select Newest and Title. You can also search by keyword. Here I have typed in the word building, click search, and you should get all the opportunities that involve building. This example here is the Prescott Area Habitat for Humanity Building Two Homes. There is also a banner at the top with featured opportunities that you can click on and investigate. Once you have found an opportunity that interests you, click on the opportunity. A variety of information will be shown describing the opportunity. Once you have agreed to commit to this time and opportunity, click sign me up. This is the sign up page. It will auto populate your name and email and you insert your phone number. You can also insert other notes that the contact person might want to know about you when you're coming to participate in this opportunity. Click sign me up. It will redirect you to the opportunity page and there's a yellow button up on the right called track hours. After you're done with your opportunity, come back to your Noble Hour page and click this button. Once you have participated in your opportunity, click on the wire globe and go down to opportunities and select the opportunity. Now click the track hours button. Here is the group selection page for tracking your hours. You will want to select your course and instructor and then click the blue button that says select group. For our purposes, it will be my test group that I created. Click the blue button. Finally, you will be able to submit your hours. Click Submit. Once you have clicked Submit, you will be on the Daily Hour Ad page. You will need to specify the time in which you started and which you ended, if you had any breaks, what type of opportunity it was, and I highly encourage that you fill in the work reflection. The work reflection will be able to be shown by the YC admins and when you post your opportunity it will give a description of what you did in the opportunity. I highly advise anyone who submits hours into Noble Hour fill out this work reflection. Finally you will be able to review the breakdown of your submission. It will say the test opportunity, it will give you the hours breakdown specified by you, you can type in additional notes and then your first and last name, check this box and then click submit. Now you should see this green toolbar that says your submission has been sent to your teacher for approval. The group that your teacher is administering will be able to approve your credit hours. As you can see, the credit submitted hours is like a receipt for your hour tracking submission. One other note is this bottom portion here that says hours breakdown. Notice how it has the number of hours to start and end and as well as the date. And if I click on reflection, it will say what you did during your opportunity. This information will be available to the YC admins, so filling out the work reflection is very important.